Another week, another video. Consistency. What's up everybody? Welcome back. Jason here. It's another week. It's another video. It's going to be a vlog this week. As you can see, I am driving. It's also getting quite dark. So, I just wanted to run over the itinerary for this week. I am on my way over to my very good friend, Michael Robertson Jr. He lives about two hours away in Harrisonburg. So, uh, that's where I am going for this weekend. We are going to play some basketball, play some video games. I am going to do some headshots for him, if, whether he wants to or not. And uh, I will re record that for a separate video. Since it is getting a little dark and I am driving, that's not safe, we're going to skip ahead to tomorrow morning. Here we are. It's pretty early, 6 a.m. Uh, we're uh, going to play basketball this morning. <sighs> As you will quickly find out, I'm not very good. But Michael is, and we're going to have fun with that. So, before that, though, we're going to... I need to brush my teeth and get some coffee. spot today I will uh, not be showing the game because that would be terribly awkward for everybody but we'll show some highlights Mike's really good we'll probably do some b-roll of him but uh, for now just your plan we're shooting for teams right now I made my first one total luck we'll see how this goes I thought it was a basketball. It was good. It was good. It's good. I'm tired now. Michael dominated pretty much the entire time. He won just about every single 21. It took a team effort to beat him on the very last game. But we did it. Four versus one. <laughs> I'm exhausted now. So we get some food, get some showers. And then we'll figure out what to do the rest of the day. We still need to talk about your headshots. We are doing those tomorrow. Tomorrow morning we're doing headshots. Ooh. You're probably so much taller than me. I've been forever. Well, your seat's even higher. Can I go higher? I'm not sure. I can't go higher. That's the bad chair. Okay, so this weekend I came down to visit my very good, lifelong best friend, Michael Robertson Jr. In fact, more people probably know who you are. You should probably be introducing me. I mean, you're the big author. You've got a following. 
so many things wrong with that. First of all, this That's is his true. channel, so if you're watching this, you know who he is. And yes, all eight of my subscribers <laughs> know exactly who I am. You're an author. I am. You're a very talented author. How many novels do you have out now? It's seven or eight novels and then a few short story collections. You've been doing it for what? How long? Uh, first book went up for sale on Amazon in February of 2011. He's good. He's good at what he does. He's very, very talented. But we've been best friends since we were what? And we were talking about this yesterday. In fifth grade? Fifth grade, yeah. So the better part of 25 years. We've yeah. been very good pals. It's true. The best of. But you now live very far away. I don't get to see you very often. It's true. It makes me sad. It's two hours away, but it's, it feels two and a, a half. Lot. Feel, two and a half hours. Feels a lot further. But. Yeah. But we don't get to uh, we don't get to hang out much anymore. And uh, for the past two years, every time we do come and I do come and visit, we're like working. Yeah. But this visit was this visit was very relaxing. You saw some basketball clips. That was uh, that was two and a half hours of basketball. We are we don't do that very often, and <laughs> we didn't do anything the rest of the day. <laughs> very sore today. I was very sore yesterday. By the time I got home, but... yesterday was like achy, like old man achy. I didn't want to move. I sat in a recliner for the better part of two hours, and then I barely made it upstairs to the bed where I laid in there for another half hour. Finally took a shower. It was it was not an eventful day. No, we relaxed. I mean, we we played some video games. We went and got something to eat for dinner. We watched a basketball game on TV. Watched a movie last night. Just really just hung out. Which, like he said, we haven't done in a while because most of the time the excuse that we use to get together is work on some sort of project, which has usually been some sort of uh, short film here recently. So, which is still fun for us. But this was the first like just kind of chill out group or gathering we've had in a while. Yeah, it was a really good visit. Um, very much needed. I think so. Yeah. yeah, it was good. That was pretty much it. We uh, we shot some pictures for you. Being an author, he does have a very uh, he has a very big social media presence, um, and branding is important. So he needed some updated headshots. We took some for him. What, what was it? Nine years it's ago. It's probably been eight years, seven or eight years ago. Yeah. yeah. So he needed some updated shots, and uh, we banged out. What well, ended up being three. Three concepts, three three images. Hopefully, you'll be happy with those. Yeah, what I saw already was was really good. We needed updated ones to reflect how old I've gotten <laughs> since the last set of headshots. So these will be a more accurate representation of me. You do your Monday lives, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Facebook lives. Right. Ooh, you know what we should do? What? We should do your questions. Uh, you know, on here. It'll be a new segment, a new brand new segment, a first segment that I've had on my channel. It'll right. be called uh, Michael's Facebook Live Questions, except on Jason's YouTube channel. Perfect. That's a, that's a temporary title for, for this segment. Are we doing that now? Let's do it. So, All right. Well, question number one is, what am I reading? Well, go to me. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm reading a book called Bleak Harbor. Uh, I'm reading it on my Kindle. Uh, I forget the gentleman's name who wrote it, unfortunately. Uh, I've never read a book of his before. It was recommended on BookBub by... Gillian Flynn, who wrote Gone Girl and several other novels, Sharp Objects, um, which they made an HBO series out of. So I did, it looked neat, um, like a good little suspense thriller. It's about a small town, which I love. Most of my books take place in small towns. They're amazing settings for, for thrillers and mysteries. Um, I'm about 70% through that. Uh, it's, it's decent. Don't love it. Don't hate it. Uh, but I'm going to finish that soon. Okay, so. great. I am, uh, I'm not reading anything actively right now. But I am going to start listening to your Lance series on Audible, audible.com, if they want to sponsor. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, you've listened to one of them before, haven't you? I listened to or Dark Beginnings. Question. All right, what's the next question? Uh, what are you watching? Ooh, Can what am TV I watching? TV or film. And more importantly, what are you watching that you're enjoying? Okay. I try not to talk about stuff that I'm not liking. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, the, I, I'm not. I, I'm not actively watching anything right now. I literally just finished um, two series on Netflix. One was Friends from College. Mm -hmm. Love that series. That was season two of that show. Amazing show. And then the uh, the other one I just finished was oh Punisher. It was season two of Punisher, uh, also on Netflix, and uh, was amazing. Um, I think that's probably my top spot for Marvel, Netflix. Um, shows. The third one I just finished was 
the season three of um, what was it? An, a series of, of unfortunate events. Right. Um, that was a fantastic series. What about movies recently? Anything good? Well, we just watched Annihilation last night. Mm -hmm. That was that was really good. Yep. Man, that was such a good movie. Yep. Good. All right. What about you? Um, I have been watching a show called Channel Zero. It's on Shudder. I think it was originally on Sci-Fi. Uh, it's a anthology series, a horror anthology series. Really, really good. Creepy. Um, kind of like not your mainstream horror. I really enjoy that. Uh, there's three seasons. I'm, I have one episode left of the first season. And other than that, I have also, I did watch the season two of Friends from College on Netflix, which is hilarious. And that might be about it. Okay. Yeah. All right, what's the third question? What are you working on? What projects are you currently engaged in? My weekly videos for my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. um, we recorded some educational, well, educational content. I kind of just broke down my lighting setups for your headshots or all of your pictures today. Um, I'm trying to do more educational stuff, so I'm, uh, that's difficult for me. So I'm trying to do more of that and actively working on, that's pretty much it. I took some team headshots for Addison's swim team last week uh I, I gotta work on that i gotta finish that project but i think that's it okay what about you i am working on the f fourth lance brody novel it'll be the sixth title overall so that's my big project and then in terms of the book world uh second week of february um, i'm having a pretty significant change all of my uh books will be available as ebook on the other stores other than Amazon, uh, I've been exclusive with Amazon for a few years now and I am moving out, moving on and testing the waters in Apple Books, Barnes & Noble, Kobo, stuff like that and, and try to uh, reach those audiences as well. So that's going to be a little bit of a interesting project to monitor and, and work with. Nice. Yep. Well, that's awesome. Well, I think it's a great place to end this video, this vlog. We'll do the YouTube sign off. You gotta like the video. Please do that. You know, the likes, they make me feel good, they make me happy. A little flutter in my heart there. He gets really depressed if nobody likes the video. <sighs> Seriously depressed. Then I have to hear about it and yeah, yeah. Just... If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Do that for sure. Please. And that's it. We'll see you next week. All right. In the comments below, uh, start making a list of adjectives that Jason can use other than the word amazing. It's his go-to adjective. Uh, it, that's really all he ever says is something is amazing if he likes it. So, I start going with fantastic. Uh, anybody that wants to send a thesaurus, <laughs> oh, okay. uh, he'll put the address <laughs> below for his P.O. box. Listen, I, I, don't, I don't bring you on my channel to bash me, okay? Okay, you need to be nice, all right? Right.